The news yesterday went a little haywire with the possibility of Google acquiring HTC. For those of us that have followed the industry for years, HTC is one of the few pioneers left, so it makes sense for us to worry about seeing it go. It turns out that this is actually a new win-win partnership between both companies, and before I spend most of the Pocket Now daily on just one topic, I think this warrants a separate video. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and let's learn more about this new partnership between Google and HTC. In a recent statement that HTC gave us this morning, the company claimed that HTC has approximately 4,000 talented engineers and technical people powering the innovation behind all of the company's products and services, including our award-winning branded smartphones like the HTC U11, acclaimed Vive virtual reality system, and consumer hardware for partners such as Google. Under the terms of the cooperation agreement, approximately half of these engineers and technical people will join Google upon closing. HTC continues to have a lot of exciting things in the works, including a cutting-edge 2018 product portfolio. If you think about it, this is definitely a win-win scenario. On one hand, we've got HTC benefiting from the fact that it's been struggling economically for years. It's getting $1.1 billion for this deal, which will also allow it to operate leaner with less employees, definitely. On the other hand, we've got Google, who has been trying to get its Made by Google brand off the ground. Now it'll have technical expertise from HTC, in addition to a non-exclusive agreement to HTC's IP. And then we also hear that Google will continue manufacturing phones in Taiwan, and definitely HTC is going to be the ODM. So again, I don't see where any company loses here. It's the complete opposite. Now, obviously, there are concerns, and the biggest example is Google's case with Motorola, where we thought that the whole acquisition of Moto was going to benefit Moto. It was going to end up being Motorola building smartphones for Google, and this whole collaboration, and we saw some of it with the Moto X at the beginning. But then we completely noticed that uh, Google started worrying about its partners, the companies that are building smartphones for Android. So it ended up being more a deal of intellectual property, and Google has pretty much benefited from that like crazy, but then we see Motorola completely die out as part of the Lenovo portfolio. And then you've got the problem where mergers and acquisitions always have duplicity in roles, and so you get employees being fired. This is not that. This is a completely different scenario from where we notice. We notice that this will allow HTC to actually operate again in a leaner way. Would this work or not is the biggest question. And it also leads me to the question of this video. We would love to know your opinion. What do you think? Do you think that it's a good idea for this agreement to happen? Or do you think that it could have been done better? In my case, I do believe that this was the smartest thing that could have ever happened to HTC. Hopefully this will allow the company to reinvent itself and continue bringing us great smartphones. I have been a big fan of HTC for years and I really want the company to figure this out. But leave us a comment down below, we'd love to know your opinion. Folks, just like this, we've got more videos in the pipeline, so make sure you follow us on social media and subscribe to our channel, hitting this button up here. You can also watch our latest Pocket Now Daily up here or our latest video down here. In addition, you can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.